From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Abby Bitterman, OU beat writer. Abby, Sooners headed to Lawrence over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Not a, a place that a lot of teams go to and lose, and the Sooners did, but they have Baylor at home, another great team, not only in the Big 12, but nationally. They have them on Tuesday. They've played so well at home. If they beat Baylor, don't you think this almost solidifies their hopes to get in the NCAA tournament? I would, I would certainly think so. I mean, uh, since uh, beating number then number 13 West Virginia, uh, they've become more solidified. They were kind of in those first four games projected. Now they're very squarely projected an eight or nine seed uh, across the board. And so I would think that beating the number one team in the country would certainly be a big positive to their resume. And you mentioned they've been so good at home. They're 10 and one at home with that only loss being to Kansas. And they played Baylor also so close last time. It, they had a chance to win. It came down to a three point shot by Austin Reeves that didn't fall. But they, again, were incredibly close with this Baylor team the entire game. And so you'd think that that sets them up really well this game. Um, but you mentioned that loss to Kansas. And, you know, OU is going through a really tough stretch of games right now in right. this second half of February. And Lon Kruger talked last week about how uh, the team needs to have short memories and really take each game uh, individually. Um, I mean, they've had good momentum recently, but. Uh, that loss was real tough at a tough place to play, Allen Fieldhouse. And so they kind of just need to, you know, forget about it and think back to what was working for them the last few games, especially at home, mm -hmm. and feed off of that. Well, what was working them, working for them at home, and, and I think what works best for them is when Christian Doolittle and Brady Manick mm -hmm. are both offensively playing at a pretty high level. We've seen Christian Doolittle continue that. Uh, even in that loss at Kansas, he was pretty good. But Brady Manick seems like he's got to got to find something here. Yeah, uh, in, at Kansas, Brady got two fouls pretty early. Um, just seemed a little bit frustrated with that, and so kind of then didn't didn't play as well. Uh, and but Christian Doolittle really continued, yeah. like you said, he had 27 points. He's had um, over 20 points in OU's last three games, and that's really helped them, especially because he did have a slump in the middle there. Yeah. Um, so against Baylor, it'll be really important uh, for Brady Manick to also be contributing at, at that level again, like he had been for most of Big 12 play. You mentioned uh, the last time OU went, uh, played Baylor, they went to Baylor, played him close, it was a four-point game. A guy that broke out that game and has continued to play pretty well for the Sooners as Alondis Williams. What have you seen out of him and, and what's he brought to this team as they've especially had success at home? Yeah, he um, I think just brings in a lot of a lot of energy. Um, since that Baylor game he's looked a lot more confident. He was also someone who struggled against Kansas but everyone not named Christian Doolittle yeah. pretty much did. <laughs> yeah. um, but he also, you know, he I think uh, people have been really the fans and the players have been really energized by uh, his dunking. Mm -hmm. um, he he's just someone who's really fun to watch. And uh, in against Iowa State uh, in their last home game, he had 14 points, and all 14 of those points came in the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, so he really gave and very early on in the second half. So he really gave them a boost that kind of led them to such a dominant win over Iowa State. So he's a guy who can really come in bring some energy and kind of change the game for them a little bit, go on a run or two, yeah. and kind of create a point swing all by himself. And we know against Baylor, a very defensive-minded team. Mm -hmm. And then Bedlam on Saturday, Oklahoma State playing some good defense as well. Be important to get an additional score out there for the mm -hmm. Sooners. 8 o'clock on Tuesday against Baylor down in the Lloyd Noble Center, and then 3 o'clock on Saturday up at Gallagher Ivory Arena. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at oklahoman.com and every day in the Oklahoman.